Small Fat Hand. Amazing name. He forgot to bring the fireball. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and fish. Sword Assassin, Dilgana Mutants. Let's see who's gonna be victorious in hard mode. Tilkana Mutants. Ooh, they're a Lalo team? Alright. Alright, first time I've seen these guys. I might already like them. Look at all the supercharged defenses, man. Zap. Quake. That works. That works. Got some juicy stuff there. How do we do the sewing? Rage. Vile. Giant. Gauntlet. Healer Puppet. Invis Vile. Healing Tome, Eternal Tome, Haste File, Hog Puppet, sure, 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 sure. Cool, cool. King should walk to the right after getting this Xbox. Queen with a wall break to go left. Everything's looking decent so far. There's an Ice Golem. Do we use the Poison now? Baby Dragon, Headhunter, Poison is in. Headhunter died right away. Ice Golem freeze, that's nice. That's really nice. Now, I am concerned about this Super Dragon not going down. Maybe the Phoenix can help fight it. Queen has ability still, by the way. Royal Champion will help fight the Super Dragon as well. And we start the Lala from the right side of the base. He's got a Battle Blink for the Town Hall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Royal Champion. Send some Headhunter. Send the Battle Blimp. Yes, sir. Oh, get the Champion and the Warden ability. You can't. That actually sucks. Why did Warden go all the way to the right, man? If you got the champion and the Warden ability, that would have been cash money. Ugh. This core is going to be tough to get through without the uh, champion helping out. Raged up Yeti Bomb does take the Town Hall, but they don't get anything else. This core is toxic. Healing Tome, though? His Headhunters also didn't get the enemy champion? Oh, no. Multi in the middle stays up. It's supercharged. Scattershot as well. I think literally if you just get the Royal Champion in the Warden ability, this was a triple. Like, no doubt about it. She would have gotten like another four or five defenses in the core. It would have been amazing. Man, that's kind of unlucky. The Warden did take a really awkward path when he was trying to pop the ability. Oof. Down go the last couple of units and it's going to be maybe an 84% to start this match. Maybe an 85. Nope. Yes. Yes, indeed. 85%. Small Fat Hand. Amazing name. He forgot to bring the fireball. <laughs> oh, no. He set everything up for the fireball, and then it's an eternal tome. <laughs> oh, rip this guy. The town hall is supposed to be dead. Oh, this is a big misplay. How does he even fix that? I guess queen can snipe it, but this is a big mess, dude. Oh, jeez. Got the druids. Pop the queen ability. Why did druids just sit on the warden and not go to the queen? Oh, no. He gets the town hall, at least. Send the super witches. King, siege barracks on the right side. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got more druids. We got a royal champion. We got a spirit fox to utilize. All right, all right, all right. Super dragon on defense. The queen gone. Is the warden gone? The warden's still alive, but the queen's gone as heck. Jump spell deployed. Sure. Apprentice warden going to get out in front and die like a goofball. King goes down. Royal champion's in on the right side of the base. You better at least get 50%, my dude. Oh, no. Oh, no. Super minions. Still gonna grab a few more buildings. Invisibility spell. Keeping that Grand Warden alive. On oh, one HP in a dream. Send two more druids. Never mind. Grand Warden's dead. Royal Champion getting some good value, though. Got a couple wizards in his pocket. Might as well look for a percent. Royal Champion can pop ability. No more freezes to help her out, though. Or invis spells. Those hoggies die almost instantly. Rocket Spear might have been better here. He will secure this two-star, but barely, man. Barely. Low percent. 
Low percent. There's 52. <laughs> that last druid gonna die. Oh yeah. It's going to be a 52. Can you get any other buildings? I don't think so. Actually, he might be able to over here. No, because of the eagle. That's a 52%. Yeah, there's nothing else he can do. Small fat hand. Rip, homie. You forgot to equip your fireball. And now it's going to be Tilgana in the lead on percent by quite a bit after the first round of attacks. Jeez. Sparkling bevel. Super. Witches. These guys can take a nice little lead with the triple here. Grand Ward on the right side of the base. We actually do have a fireball on this attack. Drew it in behind. Two, only two invis spells. So it won't be the craziest fireball ever. Probably just going somewhere right here. Alright, that'll work. That'll work. Fireball straight to the eagle. Pick up the expos as well. Super witches pull the Grand Warden down south. Wall break in. Right away, probably. Queen siege barracks. Where's the wall break, my guy? Why would you drop an archer there? That served like no purpose. But okay. Alright. Queen Frosty taking a lot of damage from this ricochet cannon. I'm a little worried about that. He does have a magic mirror though. King deployed. Pops the magic mirror. Healer puppet. Where's that wall break going? What the? Those are the stupidest wall breakers I've seen in a hot minute. Jump spell is in. Ice Hound on defense, Spiky Ball doing some nice damage there, but does not hit the Town Hall. Queen getting this Expo on the left, Super Minions out of the Siege Barracks to help support, sure, sure, sure. King already dead. Already dead. Queen will be able to reach the Town Hall from this compartment, nice base building. Super Minions get that scatter shot. okay, we got a Royal Champion still to use. Probably send her on the left. Or not. Invis the Queen for fun points. What are you waiting for? There's the champion finally. What does she have? Hog Rider, Puppet, Haste File. Sure. No Rocket Spear. Oh well. Last Rage used for the Super Witches, for the Healers, for the Druids in the core of the base. They're just smashing through everything. Firepower wise, it looks great. Are we at all risking a time fail here? I think we're okay on time. Hard to say for sure though. Wizard on the left. Royal Champion needs to not skip that multi. 50 seconds on the clock. Road Champion going to have to pop ability. She's kind of skipping this multi. She's going to go back for it, though. And the wizard will stay alive. That's good news. That's good news. I think it's crushed. I think it's crushed. Sparkling Bebel. They're going to be able to get it done. Hey, yo. Freeze the Archer Tower for fun points. 30 seconds on the clock. He's got cleanup wizards on the left side of the base. Cleanup headhunters doing their thing. Plenty of time to spare. That's a triple all day long with the super witches. Any cool equipments? Ooh, a giant arrow, even though it's only level 15. Very interesting. We brought the Earthquake to help out. Let's see what he's going to arrow. What is he going to arrow? What does he pick? Start with a log launcher. Okay. That arrow got some stuff. Is the Earthquake for the spiky ball? I guess so. That arrow got a sweeper? Sure. Sure. Queen will walk up. Get the two air defenses and the eagle artillery. That's actually a decent value. Log launcher dies so early. Warden ability. Healing tome. Got a rage spell. e going to get some nice bounces in the core here. Hopefully. Another rage on the left. Freeze upon the town hall. Rage on the right. Freeze upon over there as well. Just gonna demolish this core. Hello, Spiky Ball. Still got the Earthquake spell. Still got the Earthquake spell. He quakes the core after everything was dead. That was a big brain play right there. Royal Champions in on the left side of the base. This is so wrecked, though. Like, there's just no base left. Nice. He could have swagged the champion. He could have swagged the Earthquake spell, because he did. Last freeze. 
He's just going for speed at this point. What an absolute legend. This guy's a gamer, dude. Makes it look fast, too. Wow. Nice three-star from Sword Assassin. We are all tied up. Five to five. Sulav. More super witches. They worked with him last time, so let's do it again. Heck yeah. Invis, invis. Fireball. That'll work. Good value. Baby dragon. All right. Super witches. Here we go. We're in. Queen. Siege barracks. Wall break. One wizard on the outside of the base. Frosty gets targeted so early. Unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Super witch is going to take out a few defenses. We could wall break again. Or just jump. What is he going to do? He's just going to jump. You drop it just slightly further south. The queen could have used it as well. Instead, she might get stuck. Or she might be smart and walk around. We'll see. Ice Golem's coming out on defense. Queen actually can take that jump. Oh, that's wild. Earthquake boots. Hello. Hey, yo. I didn't see that coming. We got a magic mirror. We got the royal champion with the with the haste file with the uh, hog rider puppet. More druids coming in. Maybe the uh, uh, royal champion from the left or not. Yetis out of the siege barracks. Down goes the town hall. Still with the rage gem on the grand warden doing a lot of helping. <laughs> okay. Unicorn still alive. He's not sure where to send the champion. Finally sends her from the left side of the base while the Yetis are distracting. Probably should have sent her a little bit earlier then. Because now they're not distracting anymore. Got a druid to help out. Skeleton traps. Uh, it's going to make things spicy. Oh my gosh. Healer puppet and then the red bombs kill the healers instantly. Invis, the, the magic mirror queens. Get through the ricochet cannon. Still got the royal champion ability. Still got one rage spell. There's a lot of defenses to get through though. I think it's looking okay. It's gonna rage this group instead of the champion. Yeah, maybe that was a good idea. Maybe that was a good idea. Can they get through a wall here pretty quickly? Go druids, go. Go druids, go. Royal champion getting low on HP, but we do have her ability. This should be wrecked. With the ability intact, it should be wrecked. Nice. Nice. Gets through those upper defenses. The royal champion does go down, but we got super witches. We got big boys. We got... A queen at full health with the unicorn. Able to get through everything. Nice. Tilkana, mutants, putting up a good fight against Sword Assassin. They are still going to be able to keep the lead. Through the third round of attacks, Sword Assassin going to have to triple again just to try to keep up. Awesome. New for Sword Assassin. Has got a... a, a is it a fireball? No. We do have a recall spell. He's got three E-Titans. Okay. Sure. I think they made E-Titans work in their last match we watched as well. Let's see if it works here. Just gonna sue the town hall, then recall the heck out of there. I bet. Flame Flinger deployed. Queen steps inside perfectly. Nice. Invis, but the tornado's gonna make things real spicy. Uh, Another Invis. Ooh. And we're going to get the enemy queen and the town hall. Then recall with abilities. Recall with abilities. There we go. Oh, yeah. Redeploy right there on the outside. Cool. You got to keep an eye on those skeletons, though. They might go to your flame flinger. He might not be paying attention to that. He might not be paying attention. He might not be paying attention. He might not be paying attention. No spotters. No spotters. No spotters. Is he watching the stream? He's definitely not because he's in big trouble. Super Witches on the bottom side of the base. I mean, E-Titans, not Super Witches, but bye-bye, Flame Flinger. Oh, he finally did drop an archer, but it was way too late. Dude, he's got that stream delay because he's watching from the other side of the world. CC troops coming out. Super minions, archers. We got a poison spell. Finally deploys it. Pops the warden ability. Super minions trying to get some good value. Dude, they're not even going to get that scatter shot. A little bit of a misplay. Royal Champion on the bottom side of the base with the Spirit Fox to help out. Sure. Sure. Skeleton spell. We can use it over here by the Barbarian King. Oh, yeah. He still has a lot of firepower, though. Even with the Flame Flinger dying early. I think he's looking okay here. Rage in the core. Got two freezes. Got the Royal Champ ability. Got the Queen ability. Queen can fight King over the wall. That's OP. This E-Titan going to take out all the skeletons. Nice. That's a triple all day long. Not even close. Good attack. 
Good plan from Sword Assassin. So E Titans do work in this meta, guys. You just need a good plan with them. Got clean up. Got a swag. Free spell. It's wrecked. We are going to be tied yet again. 8 to 8. Percentage on Tilkana's side, though. GG. Great attack with the E Titans. Tilkana mutants. More super witches. If it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They're going to be using super witches all day long. Try to win this match. It might just work for them. Hello, simple fireball. Boom. Quakey spell. Get the monolith. Get the ricochet cannon. All right. All right. Cool. Pretty classic equipments on the other three heroes. One druid to help out this grand ward on. Super witches are deployed. Let's do it. Let's do it. Slow and steady wins the race now. Super Witches make their way around the upper side and moving to the right. Probably see some wall breaks into the scatter shot. Yep. Queen on the outside with the siege barracks to push him in. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Next wall break, then jump to the core, I bet. One more druid deployed. Queen stays on the outside of the base. Tesla farm out here with skeletons as well. Small bombs. Ooh, he sends one druid to help the P.E.K.K.A.s, but that druid gets locked onto. He sent it from a really bad angle. There's the jump spell. He might have deployed it late, but the super witches are still going. Here come CC troops. Do we have a druid? We do have a druid. We got the rage gym from the Grand Warden. Putting in some good work. Send another druid. Super hollow riders out of that siege barracks. Sure, the king went to the outside to help with the queen. Rage the druids to keep these super witches alive. They need to clear the core really badly in order for this to work. Those super witches must stay alive here. Nice freeze to help out. Should be pick up the town hall. Still got that royal champion. Still got one more rage. Where are we going to send it? Where are we going to send the royal champion? She's going in from the left all by herself. Going to fight. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. We're going to rage her up though. Going to rage her up. She'll fight the enemy champion. She's got the spirit fox to go invisible. She's got a druid now to help support. Two of them, in fact. Baby Dragon on the 9 o'clock side. Everything in the core fizzled out. Queen and King still alive on the bottom side. Royal Champion did not even go to the scatter shot. This is a little bit wonky. We got three hero abilities, though, so it st still could work. Champion has her ability. That Druid, two Druids, doing a great job of keeping her alive. Wow. Pop the Queen ability for fun points? I guess. RC ability to save the attack. He's got it. Well, yeah, he's got it, right? Pop the ability. Those hog riders, low level, they don't last very long, but they're actually going to get through this stuff. Because it's just a couple of multis, and those can't stop him. Plenty of time left over. Another triple for Tilgana Mutants with the Super Witches. Wow. Miku for Sword Assassin with some Lalo. All right, all right, all right. Flame Flayer on the left side of the base. Cool, cool, cool. Flame Flinger is flinging. We got an Earthquake spell. Healing Tome. Giant Arrow. Spiky Ball. With Earthquake Boots. Four Lightning Spells. What's he going for with this arrow? Top side. Alright. You're letting the monolith get repaired by waiting to do the arrow. What are you waiting for? Dude, just do the arrow right away. You would have had the monolith. Now your queen's probably going to get locked onto. Uh-oh. The wall breaks are good. The flame flinger's good. Skeleton spell in the mix. To help distract that monolith that should have been dead already. Where's the poison? Where's the poison? Need a poison. I mean, the monolith still goes down. That's nice. Earthquake boots open everything. Spiky ball does some damage. Queen? Uh, she won't be able to get the town hall, though. She won't be able to get that town hall, will she? We pull the second poison tower. Super minions out of the flame flinger on the left. Poison spell is in. We got a druid to help the queen. There might be a chance Queen could get the Town Hall. Hold on. Hold on. With a free spell or two, she probably does. 
Pop the Warden ability here for the Lalo on the bottom side of the base. Start hasting our way through. Queen deal with all those lava pups. Uh, freeze the Town Hall. Still got a Royal Champion. Still got a bunch of spells, actually. Freeze right there. Queen's going to get the enemy Royal Champion. Queen's going to get the Town Hall. That's looking beautiful. Send the friendly Royal Champion on the right side of the base. This is going to work. This is going to work. All right. I mean, a little bit of a misplay waiting so long to do the Giant Arrow. Or should have waited a little bit longer to do the zaps, whatever. But it still ends up working, man. That's cool. That's cool. Plenty of balloons still alive. Queen stayed alive. Royal Champion still alive. Plenty of time for the cleanup. And he's got it. Another triple for Sword Assassin. We're tied 11 to 11 going into the final round of attacks. Saul Rose, 96. Final attack for Tilkana Mutants. A triple here. They win the match. Period. Period. Fireball to the Eagle. They are going with their good old trusty Super Witches. Can you blame them? Oh, that Eagle did not go down. Awkward. Awkward. Are Super Witches the new Root Riders? Teehee. I bet a lot of people love Super Witches right now. I bet a lot of you guys are going to get sick of Super Witches pretty quickly. If uh, it ends up being the most popular strategy. Queen Frosty Siege Barracks on the right side of the base. That Eagle doing damage. And nobody's going to go get it. We might be able to send a wizard to it or something. Actually, that drew it. Ooh, never mind. That's not going to work. This is about to get really awkward. Freeze. That Grand Warden almost went down. Queen takes out enemy queen. King goes inside. Pulls the poison tower. We do have some big boys going for the eagle. Never mind. They come back around the other way. Can somebody get the eagle, man? Finally, we get the eagle. Then everybody's going to go back around. Okay. Super Hog Riders out of the Siege Barracks. Queen still on the outside of the base. Healthy as can be. Got a couple of Druids helping around. Jump spell to get through the back end of the base. I mean, it's looking decent. Still sprinkling in some Druids every now and then. Still got a Royal Champion. There's a Rage. There's a Freeze. Still got one more Rage after that. This should be wrecked, man. Super Witches are kind of cracked. Queen pops ability on the upper side of the base. She got bamboozled, though, man. No Invis Vile. Should have popped her ability way earlier then. Royal Champion at 12 o'clock. King going down. Hold on. I might have jinxed him. He needs to get this Town Hall. No spell support. Rage the champion, and that's it. She has to go to ability early. The super witch might die and not get the town hall. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Town hall's low. We got a bear on it. We got a bear on it. Royal champion. She'll snipe it, right? Yes. Okay. Good news. Grand Warden's still alive with Rage Jim on the left side of the base. He's going to carry. Spirit Fox goes invisible. Down goes the last ricochet cannon. We got a troll test on the bottom side of the base. We got cleanup wizard on the top side of the base. I think he's going to get away with it. Wow. Super Witches are the new Root Riders, guys. He's going to get away with this. It's going to be a three-star, and it's going to be a victory for Tielkana Mutants over Sword Assassin. How about that? How about that? Clash of Super Witches now is the meta. Probably going to see a lot of the pros using Super Witches at Worlds, or maybe they're going to find a way to start building against it. I don't know. I don't know. Just enough time to get this one done, though. About 10 seconds to spare here. 14 stars, and their only fail was an 85. Yo, final attack. We got Queen Charge Lalo. Let's go. Queen on the bottom side. We got a Flamey Flinger in as well. Check out some of these equipments. What does Queen got? Frozen Arrow, Invisible. I like that for Queen Charge. Giant Gauntlet, Rage Vile, Healing Tome, Eternal Tome, Haste, Vile, Hog Rider Puppet. I still think we should be seeing more Rocket Spear, but maybe some players just have not leveled up their Rocket Spear. I don't know. I don't, I don't know for sure. This base has a lot of supercharged defenses. Cool. King on the bottom there. The Warden Statue going to start doing a lot of damage. Here come more CC troops. We're going to key and continuously use spells here to keep the Queen alive until we get through some of these heavy hitting defenses. Lava Dog going to distract us for a while too. Yikes. Oh. I mean, I guess that works. Shoot. That actually worked out really well. Who am I kidding? Wow. All right, dude. GG. But the Lava Hound's going to follow the king. Hopefully the queen doesn't follow the Lava Hound. That'd be hilarious. There's a Wabrick on the left. She is. Oh my gosh. She's going to pop it relatively quickly though. Okay. That won't be too bad. Flame Flinger still flinging. Baby Dragon is dragging and 
Queen going to be following these Lava Pups for a little bit. Supercharged defenses look so cool. Interesting base design with the Town Hall like that. But now this charge should be able to get some pretty decent value with a couple good wall breaks here. I like it. I like it a lot. Queen will be able to go take everything out in the middle now. Poison Towers get pulled. No big deal. Rage the Queen. Get ready to start the Lalo somewhere. You don't have that much time. There's the Royal Champion on the right side of the base. We're just going to Lalo straight into the Town Hall, aren't we? Skeleton Spell to distract. Queen lost all of her healers. Yikes. Here we go with the Lalo. Hitting red bombs right away. Freeze the Town Hall. Inferno Tower. Combo Wombo Trombo. Can Queen at least take out the enemy Queen? Heck yeah. She'll get that super charge. Scatter Shot as well. Rage through the Town Hall. Pop the Warden ability. Still got the Flame Flinger troops to come assist. Extra balloons for the left side of the base. Royal Champion still alive. Sniping everything in the core. Cracked attack. Queen Charge Lalo feels so good in this meta. But a lot of players are still using other stuff like Super Witches. Nice attack. Awesome war, to be honest. It's going to be a 14 to 14 star performance. Down go all these buildings, but too little too late for his team, man. They got crazy low percent on their one fail. It was like a 52. So it is going to be a victory for Tilkana over Sword Assassin on percent. Nice.